Hi, welcome to the Online Jewelry Academy. I'm John R. and I'm your instructor. Today I'm going to show you how to make this eight-pointed holiday star ornament. It's very easy and you only need a few supplies. First you're going to need a pair of cutters, either a pair of scissors or a pair of metal snips. You'll also need a pocket knife or some other thin blade, an awl or a scribe, a square piece of copper foil, this is a heavy gauge copper foil, a cross peen hammer, this is the one that has a wedge shape at the end of it, a bench block or other striking surface, and a small spool of thin gauge wire, and here I'm using a thin gauge of a blackened annealed steel wire. You're also going to want to put on your safety glasses. Anytime you're working around metal, you want to make sure that you don't have anything sharp near your eyes. And you, at the very end of this project, you're going to need to have a piece of wood or something soft that you can press into as well. Let me set these things aside and I'll show you how to make this. The first thing that you want to do is to cut a square piece from your copper foil. Now this is a heavy gauge copper foil that you can get at any craft store. Once you've cut a square, what you want to do is to fold the square in half and press this side down just enough to emboss the curve. Open it back up and then fold it in the other direction in half. Again, not pushing very hard. Then open it up and what you want to do is flip it over so that the creases are up. Then fold it gently in a diagonal direction. Again, not pressing very hard on this creased edge. Open it back up and fold it again diagonally the other direction. Okay, now you should have a piece that looks like this. It's almost like a small bowl. The next step is to grab it by the midsections and push the straight edges towards each other, leaving the points out. So you can see it quickly takes on sort of a star shape right away. All right. Now, you can use the bench block, the edge of it, in order to correct these folds just so that the star is straight. Okay, now what you want to do is take a pair of metal snips or you can use scissors and what you want to do is to cut halfway down not quite to the center on each of the rays of the star. So I'll make a cut halfway down And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to give this a little bit of a twist. That way I have two crosses at different angles. Okay, the next step is to take the cross peen hammer and to hammer across the top edges of each of these rays. I'm going to start with the large ones first. Start from the middle and work your way out and you do want the material to stretch, so you're going to hit it a little hard. Now I'm going to do the smaller bottom rays. Oops.
Okay, once you've finished the hammering, you may need to straighten everything out. Just use your fingers. And you'll notice that the rays now have sort of a ruffled edge to them. Okay. Now, before you proceed any further, what you may want to do is to snip off the tip so you're going to use your metal shears one more time. And this time you're just going to cut to the center. This will help the star to lie flat if it's hung on a surface. Give it a little twist. Another snip right down the middle. We'll set that aside. Okay. And at this point, you may want to take your block of wood and your awl and push through the back end of one of the largest rays. Just apply pressure and it should be very easy to puncture a hole through the metal foil by pushing the awl into the wood. Okay. Next, what you want to do is take your pocket knife or your other thin blade and start at the bottom and slide the knife blade into the area in between the two halves of one of your rays and wiggle it and kind of turn the blade so that you open up the ray like the petal of a flower. Be careful with the knife. You don't want to cut yourself. Okay, now I can go to the upper rays. I'm going to straighten them out a little bit before I open them, though. There we go. Okay, once again, I'm going to put the knife blade in and give it a twist. Go all the way down the, the ray so that you can really open it up. Again, be careful with this blade. You don't want to stab yourself. You can also use the blade to straighten out the ends or the points of the star. It's easy to work from the center and to come out towards the end of each ray. And you can open these rays as much as you like. I like to actually leave an opening at the back so that light can shine through them. Okay, so we've opened all of the rays. And I'm just going to open them up a little bit further with my fingers. And straighten them out. Now what I want to do is to just cut a short length, maybe about four inches long, of the blackened annealed steel wire and I'm going to take one end of the wire and I'm looking for that hole that I pushed through and I'm going to thread the wire through and then just create an open loop. I'm creating that classic holiday ornament hook that you use on a Christmas tree and then I'm just going to loop the other end of the wire over my finger to finish out the hook. And you can turn that hook any direction that you need in order to hang this on your tree. There you have it, an eight-pointed, form-folded holiday star. I hope you have fun making this project. Check out our other videos and products on the onlinejewelryacademy.com. Thanks for watching.